This course provides video tutorials to help interdisciplinary scientists understand biological systems using mathematical intuition, physical creativity, and visual communication. When you pull apart the poetry, a lot of quantitative biology starts to look like the repeated application of a small toolbox of mathematical tricks. Where do these tricks come from? Many of the tricks fall out naturally from these areas of knowledge. We can use time rates of change to infer the condition of a system as a function of time. We can study the fluctuations of a system by relating them to the fluctuations of constituent components. We can describe a system with multiple moving parts by listing the conditions of individual features and asking how the parts talk to each other over an interval of time or continuously through time, and when we say parts, we can refer to parts that are spatially distinct. Organize the course in this way. We want to develop intuition about mathematical functions, the law of mass action, the combinatorics of large numbers, and eigenvectors and eigenvalues. As you work through a unit, watch the video. That's like skimming through a textbook for the general gist. Close the video. Outline the stories you've just seen. Reopen the video, pause, rewind, and review to revise your outline. Then, using your notes but without using the video, try to reproduce the unit's arguments, illustrations, and mathematical symbolic derivations. Repeat steps 3 and 4 with friends as necessary. Watch video tutorials to help interdisciplinary scientists understand biological systems using mathematical intuition, physical creativity, and visual communication.